program contains coarse language. Viewer discretion is advised. Tonight, men in uniform on parade. A salute to the arm. The decorated. God save the queen. And the incumbent. Luke, be dead. You'll see a soldier go shopping in his armored vehicle. I have the one gun. Party in the tank. First responders on their saintly mission. And other civil servants doing their best on our behalf. Featuring the always stirring insight from our celebrity cast. You didn't fail out and busted your ass. Welcome to the show. Who TV presents the world's dumbest heroes. And it begins now. A major general shows Ukrainian army recruits how a grenade launcher works. First of all, what sane human being is going to be in a closed room with a grenade launcher? I wouldn't have the balls. Would you? Then you point a target and pull the trigger. Wow, could you put that in layman's terms, please? What? But that's how you shoot a grenade launcher. Any questions? <laughs> there really is no substitute for a live fire exercise. Imagine trying to follow that with a PowerPoint presentation of supply chain management. <clears throat> okay, now you'll notice in the top yellow circle, it says power of sale. I think the cameraman was psychic. Fortunately, the grenade is a blank and only shatters the ceiling. The audience and Major General are covered in plaster, but otherwise unharmed. If there's anything we've learned from the internet over the past couple years, it's don't do demos with firearms. In an auditory with a shoulder-mounted rocket, I think it was an SPG, I think it was... It says here grenade launcher. It was a grenade, well, hey, dude, Rambo, okay? My brother had a plastic one, but he did use it in the movie. Oh, I'm sorry we corrected you, Frank. You're obviously the weapons expert here. You, okay? Sheriff's deputies have pulled over the driver of the blue truck for reckless driving, while one deputy stays by his unmarked county squad car. The other heads back to his vehicle to radio headquarters. Are you going to be out there? I'll be my warrant list on me, but I'm out with somebody. I recognize her name, and I want to see if we have a warrant on her. Why don't you hold tight there for a minute? I'm going to check in with my partner here. It has. Interesting. Yes, he is very interesting. I think we might have a dangerous criminal here, so there's only one thing to do. Let's back up, give him some space, and have a think. White male, date of birth, 11, 10 of 76. As the deputies discuss the suspect... Hey, man, get back over here. The driver makes his move. Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Don't you hate it when criminals don't follow directions? What I want to know is, how is this affecting business at Edgar's? Subject uh, stole officer's own vehicle because officer was complete dumbass. The chase turns out to be short-lived as the fugitive quickly loses control of the vehicle. You're lucky this 
this guy isn't a very good driver and crashed into the first fence he saw. Otherwise, you might not have gotten that thing back. Damn, you're gonna get it, boy. You're gonna get it. Get that son of a bitch. Get that son of a bitch. Get him down. Freeze. Freeze. Hold up. Get that son of a bitch. Get over here. Take my car. Get on the ground. Shut up. As soon as that camera goes off, they're gonna kick his ass Texas style. The brazen thief is sentenced to a year in prison while the officers walk away with a valuable lesson. Take the key out of the ignition. If nothing else, you're saving gas. Wait. Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Officials in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, prepare to demolish a giant grain elevator. Okay, you're gonna watch them push the button now. I like how then one woman just sneaks in and puts like a pinky on it. Now I just wanna touch it. I might run for office next year. Three, two, one, go! It was supposed to go boom and it went blah. All right, five, four, three, two, Never listen to me. This is like a, a blooper reel for Al Qaeda. That's always good to spell out the sound that a building might make when it gets blowed up. We should add a question mark after that boom, like boom? This is our chance to get back on the world stage. The leaning feed tower of Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Take a picture. I'm going to stand next to it and hold it up. You know, if that building doesn't completely come down within the next four hours, they need to see a physician immediately. The building is finally brought down by a wrecking ball. People still use wrecking balls. I feel like that's something that was invented in cartoons. Nothing for more fun than wrecking balls. Ask my wife. Coming up. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> then, Mexican police join our countdown. Can they not afford handcuffs in Mexico? And later... Why is the gun the first thing you let go of? When World's Dumbest Heroes continues. The following program contains coarse language. Viewer discretion is advised. A fallen tree blocks a major thoroughfare in a Russian city. Police have been called in to clear away the tree. Do officers normally even do this kind of work, or are they branching out? Why didn't someone bring a chainsaw? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is how they invented the catapult. <laughs> that officer should quit his job as a cop and go get a job as a cartoon. <laughs> We're going to pull the tree this way. Why don't you stand in front of it? Hey, why are the rest of you on the other side? Is there something I should... <laughs> I recorded it. Yes, now I can die happy. I got it. I got it. You gotta see it in slow motion. In for me. Uh. <laughs> 
the officer is red-faced but unhurt. I'm really starting to think that Russian police officers get their badges at the bottoms of cereal boxes. That's why they can't beat us, I keep telling you. The Queen's Guard. Elite soldiers charged with defending the royal's palaces. Attention! They are known for bravery, courage, and stoicism. That is the dumbest marching cadence I ever saw. It looks like he has hemorrhoids. Why is the gun the first thing you let go of? That doesn't make me feel safe. Oh, there's my gun. Uh, That's when it would probably be appropriate to open fire. Just to make sure that nobody saw that videotape. Left, right, left, right, left. Hello. Act as if nothing happened. Nobody saw. Nobody saw. Stiff up a lip, chap. Stop crying now, or they'll ship your clumsy slapstick ass right to Afghanistan. No! I don't blame the guard. I blame the crazy turn some jackhole invented back in the pre-musket days. And then when you turn, like this, like me, knees up and over, knees up and over, this way you can slip on dry land. I invented it. No! The guard regains his composure and heroically returns to his post. I would be very worried about the queen's safety uh, if I cared about an 87-year-old British woman. Oh, shut up, you fat queen! Mexican police take an alleged cocaine dealer into custody. I think I know that guy. Cabo. Oh, 05. Yeah, he was selling jewelry on the beach. I remember him. See you later. I have ridden from time to time in the backseat of a Jeep. It's extremely uncomfortable. And that's exactly what I would have done. He did the full on, like, fish. Huh? Gotta go. He's just gonna sit back there and take it? In today's society, it doesn't work that way. Maybe you should invest in a squad car that doesn't look like it should have a couple of snowboards strapped to the top of it. Can they not afford handcuffs in Mexico? Are drug busts done on the honor system? You should see the jail. It's just a fenceless yard with a sign that says, please don't leave. <laughs> At least the townspeople pitched in and tried to help the cops. I mean, oh god, that's a different clip I'm thinking of. Which way did it go? The little man, which way? We're gonna go get that guy as soon as we take care of this mocking onlooking crowd. What are you laughing at? Shut up! By the way, where's a good place to wait around here? If I'm gonna commit a crime, remind me to get out of Mexico. Zealand's finest are in hot pursuit of a stolen vehicle. Ahead of the chase, officers lay out a spike strip. You know the car with the lights and the big sirens? He's one of you guys. Although, who can concentrate with that fancy paint job? You know, it is dumb to lay out the spikes on the ground when a cop car is coming. But for the guy in the cop car, hit the brakes! I'm coming for you, mate. I'm coming. I'm going to get you. Where? What? Oh. 
What the hell are you doing? You guys not listening to your comms. I love how the guy with the camcorder is such a prick know-it-all. Even I knew he'd gone across the, uh, upper harbor. Did you? Well, then did you think to mention it? The car thieves are captured by another police unit. Oh, yeah, we got them. Yeah, it's easy to take down there, mate. Yeah. Still leaking out there, eh? Oh, they're still leaking, yeah. But them tires are uh, ruined there, eh? Oh, sure they are, yeah. How embarrassing that? Ten cops in our car, all of the tires are going. Well, that doesn't look good, eh? Yeah. Shh. Somebody hear that? That's the sound of this cop's sense of self worth slowly deflating. Let me see inside there. Yeah, it's all working order. Yeah, it's just dumb. It's just pure stupidity. Look at him writing a report for his own damn car. That's one of your boys. The investigative report should read flat tires because somebody was a dumb dumb. Close investigation. Case closed. Kiwi! Coming up. I'm no paramedic or anything. Maybe you should lock the door. And later... Hey, what are you guys doing? I want to see what you're doing. Uh -uh. She's asking them if it's a crime to have an ass this good. Uh, she just wants a professional opinion. Plus, a Russian soldier picks up some provisions. Hey, comrades, I have vodka. Who goes shopping in a tank? When World's Dumbest Heroes continues. The following program contains coarse language. Viewer discretion is advised. I'll save you. Paramedics in Turkey prepare to rush a car crash victim to the hospital. Yeah, you dropped something. Well, looks like he just met his deductible. Oh. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the unluckiest man in Turkey. Oh. Hello, 911. I need help. The paramedics are trying to murder me. Oh. Oh. I'm no paramedic or anything. Maybe you should lock the door. Turkey has a very, very low standard of okay, if this is okay. The guy's half dead and they're having a fight. Okay, you sure we got him locked down now, for real? Okay, I just wanted to get away from that back there. Oh, how you doing, buddy? Oh, oh. Their cargo secured, the EMTs proceed to the hospital. No word on how long it took them to get there. Let's just drop him off at the loony band, okay? They'll say he's making it up. Try not to get blood on the seat. Oh, I want to get out of here. In Florida, this deputy sheriff pulls up at the drive-thru while transporting a prisoner. Even the criminal was like, officer, this seems like poor judgment. I got my criminal caught. I'm in my cruiser. Yeah, I deserve a break today. Hey, man, do you mind while you're ordering you uh, grab me a uh, gordita? Prison food really sucks, bro. Run, Grimace. Run. I'll take a uh, burger and a fries. You know what? Yeah. Oh, hold on a minute. Yeah. Hey, you! Stop! Hey. Oh. Maybe the criminal saw a sign that said, no shoes, no shirt, no service, and uh, did the right thing. Son of a bitch. Oh, what? Wait, what? Oh, sorry, my order's up. I'll smell you later. Uh, number 32, please pull ahead. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm coming. Move! Move out of the way! 
If that's not bad enough, I'm gonna run over an innocent civilian who's trying to make a living. You got my food? Yeah, all right. Ketchup? You got ketchup in there? Damn it. Woo! Mm. Mm. Dude, how f hungry are you? What a day. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm, this is good, though. You certainly don't want to get fired on an empty stomach. Maybe next time, keep a little Ziploc bag of carrots in your dashboard. Freedom! Woo! The fugitive is apprehended by other officers a short time later. Come on, I said after ketchup, damn it! The deputy resigns and now has plenty of time for sit-down lunches. This is a classic case of good priorities. Food first, preserving public safety later. Yes! Oh, son of a A tank driver takes a detour on his way to training exercises. Okay, open up, comrades. I have the worker. Okay, I got the worker from this door. Open up. Let me in. Who goes shopping in a tank? Yeah, I'm gonna take this 28 ton vehicle to go grab some groceries. You guys need gum? You good on gum? <laughs> He bought two bottles of vodka and he was already drunk when he came into the shop. I think a good rule is if someone parks their tank in the parking lot of your liquor store, they've already had enough vodka for the day. Here we go, shit those bug rides and vodka. Party in the tank! Party in the tank! Which way, wait, right? Left? Where's the break? I want to go. How do you expect me to drive this tank? A Russian tank driver crushed a village in search of vodka. I wonder how many times they've used that headline in Russian newspapers over the years. Turns out, the homeowner is retired military. When I served in the army, I was waiting for them to provide me with a house, but they didn't. In the end, I resigned and built my own house, but they destroyed it now. A drunk Russian tank driver destroyed my house. Does anyone else smell reality show? Government officials investigate the incident and announce their findings to the public. The driver was absolutely sober because he was going to military exercises. How can you possibly, with a straight face, mind you, claim that this idiot was sober? Stevie Wonder could see he was drunk. Amazingly, the soldier is cleared of any wrongdoing. The army does promise to rebuild the demolished house. Drunk tank drivers are what made Russia great. You just uh, point them in the right direction and they'll invade anything. I think they're under attack. An Arkansas state trooper pulls over a driver for speeding. This is right, right? You're speeding a little bit so they can stop you. Are we speeding? Yes, sir. Just a little bit. 75 while I got you at. He's going to give him a ticket for going 10 miles over the speed limit, or as I like to call it, driving. Oh, yes, man. When the officer returns to his car to write up the ticket, he realizes he's got a little problem. Oh, shoot. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Nice work. Is it your first day with the fake badge? And if you stop at the drive-thru, buy me a Slurpee, I'll let you use my taser on someone. What do you think? Yeah, I'm not gonna give you a ride. Because you were gonna give me a ticket two seconds ago, and that's really tainted our relationship. Why my keys in my car? I'm crazy. He's the size of an oak tree, armed to the teeth, and his last words before he gets in the car, I'm crazy. <laughs>
I'd rather just have the ticket, thank you. There's no car. Officer, don't make chit chat. Really? Because, uh, it smells like a new car. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You ever rotate your tires? You gotta, uh, take care of that, uh, narcotics charge? Yeah? Oh, don't worry about it. I'll let you go. It's cool. It's cool. No, seriously, take care of that narcotics charge for me, would you? Coming up, a riot policeman drops his gun. Look at these idiots. Plus, find out why this cop is dining on evidence. Look how he exhales his dignity. Right before he starts shoving dirty money in his mouth. And more public dumbness. We need a new statue. When World's Dumbest Heroes continues. The following program contains coarse language. Viewer discretion is advised. It's the closing ceremonies of a hockey tournament between U.S. and Canadian teams. I think your first problem here uh, is that you're marching on ice. Oh, no. You did not just disgrace Canada's national sport. when you buy cheap rugs. Who was the event planner on that? We're out there on that ice and one of us slips. We all slip, man. We all go down. Frankie falls. We all fall. My favorite is a guy who claps afterwards. He's the one who has the right attitude. Good one, guys. That was cool, eh? He's still a human despite his training. I'm gonna let Tanya handle this one. Anything involving people falling on ice, uh, she's your expert. These guys were a 6.0. It's kind of like anything involving someone stabbing a tenant over a rent dispute. Um, that's where you want to talk to Todd Bridges. <laughs> that was funny, wasn't it? Or anything involving a transsexuals, Bonaducci. Right? I didn't hit him because he was in a skirt. I made that clear. He's a but I hit him no matter what he's wearing. Officials in Spain prepare to christen a new piece of public art. Oh my god, they have finally finished whatever the hell that's supposed to be. Where's her skirt? Spain falls mainly on the day. That thing was ugly anyway. Way to go, lady. <laughs> Way to go. Okay, senorina. Show me what you got. Okay. Some type of paper mache animal or beast really took it in the face on that one. What the hell could that statue have been made of to fall over from such a tiny little smack? Okay, senorina. Smash the sucker. Wow, that's a really powerful visual example of Leif Garrett's career. <laughs> Look on the bright side. Now the artist can drink the champagne. There must be a hell of a lot of alcohol in this bottle, all right? I want the bottle. I want it. All I can say is it's a good thing we don't christen babies with champagne bottles anymore. Uh-oh. What else are you hiding here? 
Uh, no pockets, huh? Where's the money? A police station in Russia. Where's the rest of the money, huh? This officer has been accused of bribery. On the table, the evidence. A cop on the take in Russia? I don't believe it. You know something's about to happen, because it's real quiet. Look how he exhales his dignity right before he starts shoving dirty money in his mouth. And this guy is a good problem solver. I'm gonna have evidence. It's about. He seems so comfortable and familiar with eating money. Did he grow up rich? Mmm, Ruba. Delicious. I've eaten Russian food before. I'd rather eat the money. You don't put money in your mouth. Mom taught us that at six years old. That's why Americans are cool, man. I love how they're trying to get the money out of his mouth. It's like, you know, a little baby that ate part of a toy. Mm. 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 Delicious. Mm. The hungry officer is dismissed from the force. But charges against him are dropped due to lack of evidence. It's on camera. You got him on camera eating the evidence. Yes, uh, this man lost his job, but he did get dinner. Oh, mm. mm. well, that's for dessert. Mm. Good times. Uh, let's get some vodka and some snacks. Get the tank of <laughs> some guy's house. In Romania, a riot breaks out between rival soccer fans. Why are the police even responding to a soccer riot? Just let them thin the herd themselves, okay? A highly trained, heavily armed police squad rushes in to restore order. shoot the soccer fans without his gun does Romania not have smoke bombs no tasers or anything <laughs> hey let the guns fall where they may it's kind of one of the risks you take when you just kind of loosely put it in your pocket I dropped the gun now they all saw I dropped the gun now I got to shoot somebody go, 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 go. Oh. Oh. The Keystone cops are watching this like, look at these idiots. Whatever those soccer fans are up to, they better stop quickly, because there's a whirlwind of incompetence headed their way. I sure as hell don't want you coming to my rescue, OK? <laughs> Police suppressed the riot, arresting over 100 hooligans. That was officially the most time I've ever spent watching soccer. Damn it. Ah, it's been cooked. Coming up. Okay, so the reason I pulled you over is that you were... What the... Sorry, excuse me. They say a man in uniform is a pussy magnet. Plus, Fidel Castro's bid to make our countdown. After a gap like this, his approval ratings are going to take a tumble. And later, boom, Frank Stallone, heroically <laughs> oversharing. The governor smokes <laughs> Cuban cigars, and I know that because he smokes them with my brother. Uh-oh. Turkish girls are pretty good. Not as hairy as Italians, pretty nice. Oh, God. When World's Dumbest Heroes continues. The following program contains coarse language. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh, sir, could I have your license and registration, please? Thank you. Okay, sir, the reason I pulled you over is that you were... What the... Sorry, excuse me. Where was I? Well, they say a man in uniform is a pussy magnet. Okay, sir, the reason I pulled you over is I clocked you at 76 miles per hour. Psst, come on. Get out of here. Oh, my God, that's so cute. Get on me. Psst, psst. 
Go on. Get out. Shoot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, write you up a ticket here. You wonder how the guy um, getting the ticket felt. Do you have any idea why I stopped you today? Um, officer, you have a, um... What's the problem, now? Okay. Officer, you should arrest me because I think I'm hot. Hang on a sec. <clears throat> Get off and down. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Get out of here. What was this cop's uh, badge made of? Catnip? Okay, so, yeah, 30 days to uh, pay this and. Uh, let's see, now is this your current address? Come on. Come on, cat. Get out of here. This cat did this with one goal in mind to get an awesome picture for his LOL Cats profile page. Hang on a sec. Get out. Scat. Get out of here. All right. You take it easy. Have a good day. Okay. I was kind of hoping this clip would end in us getting to see the first ever tasered cat. The cat bounds off in search of a new scratching post. I'm going to need your license and registration, please. Here, yeah, kitty, kitty, come on. I'll climb on my shoulder now, cat. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, shoot. Come on, cat. Good evening. I'm Chuck Knight. And welcome to No Skid Zone, the political panel show that takes aim at the world's dumbest elected officials. Joining me tonight, Billy Kimball and Chelsea Peretti. Thank you, Chuck. Item number one, Romanian Prime Minister Emil Bach appears on a popular talk show. <laughs> the Prime Minister is unhurt. Though it raises the question, can the Romanian people support a leader who literally falls down on the job? Chuck, after a gaffe like this, his approval ratings are going to take a tumble. I have to disagree, Chuck. There's nowhere for Bach to go but up, and that's mainly because the stage is 15 feet above his head. Moving on to item number two. At a campaign stop, Republican presidential hopeful Gary Bauer makes breakfast for hungry supporters. Look, doling out free pancakes is nothing more than socialism. And Republicans won't stand for it, as Bauer demonstrated. Oh, come on, Chelsea. Americans love pancakes, and that's why Gary Bauer is a household name. <laughs> yeah! Pancakes! Finally, Cuban President Fidel Castro concludes a commencement speech. You know, Chuck, it wouldn't surprise me in the least if the CIA was attempting to assassinate Castro with a banana peel. I think it's interesting to see how this story was handled in different parts of the world. Here's how we in the U.S. saw it. And here's how it was shown on Cuban television. Any final words? Yes. No. Good night, America. Stay strong and stay vertical. Coming up. You've seen 19 heroes at work. But the dumbest ones of all are still out there. Find out who they are when World's Dumbest Heroes continues. I'll save you. An Indiana police station. A young woman waits in the lobby for a friend who spent the night in lockup. What are you guys doing? I want to see what you're doing. Uh, uh, I'm just going to crawl up uh, here. Ma'am? What's on your TV? She's asking them if it's a crime to have an ass this good. 
Uh, she just wants a professional opinion. Hey, boys. What are you guys doing back there? Working hard? Yeah. This is a total breach of protocol. Where are the dollar bills she's supposed to be picking up with her butt cheeks? Do you like what you see? Oh, yeah. Do you like my mm. boots? They're yeah. furry. You get a shot of this. Yeah, you are naughty. Hey, Fellini. Just take a picture of her boobs and get back to work. Hell yeah. I'm gonna show you looking good, girl. Mm, my space, here we come. Hit it, girl. Yeah, why don't you step right over here and okay. just see what we got. Sure, you can frisk me. Guys, can you get a picture of this quick? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, uh, there's, there's a camera recording you. Uh, it's your camera. Can't really come back here without getting a good pat down. Hey. Watch yeah. it there, Officer <laughs> Nasty. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're not hiding anything, are you? This is great. <laughs> Hello? Excuse me, Mr. Sergeant Grabass. That guy was bird dogging her, man. Whoa, what's that? That's real. He was hump stumping her. Yeah. What a wild and wildly fulfilling night. Some great pics out of it. Hopefully those will surface on the net. Footage of the foolish frisking is leaked to the press. One officer resigns, and six others are suspended. At the end of the day, boys will be boys. If they can crush ass, they will do it. Oh, I gotta get a shot of this on my phone. Yeah, you are <laughs> naughty. Yeah. <laughs> I should be on National Geographic talking about foreigners. Yeah. Russians. There we go, man. No, no. It's in the genes, man. They're mean people. So I tell you that. That's why they want to take over the world. I did a movie in Berlin. Germans aren't funny. They're psychos. They're Huns. They're not funny. I'm just so bored with this guy. There's a reason they call it Turkey. Uh-oh. Turkish girls are pretty good. Not as hairy as Italians. Pretty nice. <sighs> God. That's why Americans are cool, man. We brush our teeth, we floss. What an idiot. <laughs> we wash our hands, you know. We use toilet paper instead of corn cobs. <sighs> Castro. I understand he's a socialist and communist, but why is he buy a suit? Why is he still wearing, like, G.I. Joe outfits? You know? You're an idiot. This is Frank Stallone. Remember, it's just a riff. I love everybody, but you all blow. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Drive safely. Good night. Go!